Good day everybody. Today I'm going to share my Pop Sugar must have subscription box with you for November. I really enjoy this subscription. It's one of the only subscriptions that I have besides Glossy Box and I've only done one month of Glossy Box and I'm sure I probably won't continue with it for too long. This is more my style. It's a lifestyle box um, and so I will link something below if you're interested, but let's get started. I already opened this in a video. I recorded a video and then realized um, there was one more item in the box. So it's already been opened. This is the second time around and here we go. So it comes wrapped nicely in pink tissue and it comes with this little pamphlet that tells you everything about what the contents are in the box. And the first item that I had seen when I opened my box was these sea salt caramel apple chips, which look really delicious. Normally, I don't prefer to get food items because I do have food allergies, but this is one that I can eat, and it is definitely fitting for the season. There is another food item in the box as well, and this is strawberry and black currant preserves. This is not really my taste, but certainly I can gift this to somebody in my family who would enjoy it. It could be poured over vanilla ice cream, or if you make a pie for the holiday, it could be warmed up and put, used as a topping on the pie. This is a nice canvas tote by, let's see if we can do this here, Land's End, and this is something I will definitely take to a holiday party with a bottle of wine in it this season to give to the host. It is canvas. You could put a thermos in there. Now you could do a lot of different things with this, but it's not something I would probably use on a daily basis in my home, but it's great for the season and for gifting. The next item here that was in my box is called Nice, and it's by a candle company a loom, and it's really cute. It's definitely gonna go out for home decor in the holiday season in this household. And it has a really strong vanilla fragrance to it, which is a little bit more musky. In all honesty, it really reminds me of the warm vanilla sugar fragrance from Bath & Body Works. So if you enjoy that fragrance, which I do, you would really, really, really like this candle. So this is great. The next item that I have here is, whoops, it's upside down. It's called Absolute Nail Polish Remover. And these are, well, I guess little, there's 32 pads in here. This is really tiny. This is the item that I had not seen in the box when I previously recorded the video. This is in a fragrance of peach. And I really like this item because I always have a hard time fitting my nail polish bottles, nail polish remover bottles into any of the storage that I have for my nail polish, which is just a small pull-out drawer in a plastic, um, like, two drawer container and the um, polish remover always is too high for the drawer so I really like this. Um, this is another item. It is a bar of soap. The Soap Paper Factory Rollin' Pine Shea Butter Soap. Now I really enjoy shea butter. It's very nourishing. It's great for the skin. And I've got to tell you this smells literally exactly like a fresh pine tree. Like if I was to go pick off some pine needles off of a tree uh, in Western Washington here, this is what it would smell like. This is very, very authentic. And if that is the type of fragrance that you like and you wanna wash your hands with, you would love this. I, for one, probably would not wanna wash my hands and have my hands smell like pine, but would prefer this in a candle fragrance. Uh, I think it would be spectacular if you have an artificial tree it's just really, really true to scent. So I do enjoy this item. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might give that or I might put it out in the bathroom for um, when guests come over during the holiday season. Now, the last item that was in the box is what I was most excited about. And here it is. This is a wrap from Michael Stars. 
and it's rather large, but you could see the print on it. It's black and gray. And let me just pull up the tag here. If I can find it, this thing is really, really much larger than a regular scarf. It reminds me of the scarves that I get from, uh, let's see here. This is Michael Stars. And here's the label. And this retails for $42. Now, I have the original price of the box locked in because they just raised it, which is, I believe, $34.95 a month. And this is definitely worth the purchase alone. This is something that I would have gone out and purchased um, on my own, and it would have cost me more than the entire box cost me. So I'm really, really happy overall with this month's box. Oh, it has a lot of static clean. My shirt is actually sticking to it. <laughs> I'm going to have to spray some static guard on that. But in any case, that is the Pop Sugar box. There's also two more items in here. I just want to show you really quick. Um, this came with the box. It's not really anything. And then they tend to stick these in the box. It's $30 off at Canvas Pop, which I've noticed these are not something I typically use because they generally cost more than what this the coupon is for in your box. Sometimes you get items that will be free, but I just generally never use these. But overall, I really love November's subscription box, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And take care and have a good day.